Stockholm Central Railway Station, the biggest and the busiest in Northern Europe. More than 250,000 people come through here every day. Every one of these travellers gives off a small amount of body heat as they rush to catch their train. That heat is now to be recycled to help power a new office building next door. All the people here and all the shops and everything produces lots and lots of energy. That energy turns the heating up in this volume of air. In here it's something between 25 and up in the ceiling it's around 33 degrees. That's a little bit too much actually, so we cool this uh, building quite a lot. All these shops have cooling systems, so we'll take the energy and move it to the new building, where it will be just like an office building. It's a new idea using a century-old heat exchange technology. The hot air heats water, which is then pumped through pipes into the new office building, where it will be heated some more with conventional methods. You have to be uh, environmental smart, just use maybe things that you know for sure that will work on uh, in the future. We have also um, tried to see if we can find some, uh, some solutions that we can use on our older buildings. We have railway stations that are more than 150 years old. The Stockholm station, built in the 19th century, is an ideal candidate for a low-tech approach. Its owners want to turn the entire neighborhood into a laboratory for energy-saving ideas. Passengers say they're on board. It's a good idea. It's cheap. I think it's brilliant to use energy that otherwise would just evaporate into the air and be wasted. You don't need to use that much electricity. In fact, the energy bill will go down by a third, putting Stockholm station on track for massive savings in the future.